The National Assessment of Educational Progress continues to indicate a significant decline in learning and performance across several assessments, and learning disruptions worsen because of the pandemic. What's even more alarming is that this overall significant decline was not mirrored for students with learning disabilities. Scores for learning disabled students remained virtually the same pre to post pandemic. While stagnation rather than decline might sound promising for students with learning disabilities, in reality, it's not. More than 90% of students with learning disabilities are still not proficient in reading or math. About 2.3 million students in our public school system have a known learning disability, and many more students remain unidentified. A learning disability is a brain-based disorder that affects an individual's reading, writing, or math skills. Common learning disabilities include dyslexia, which affects a student's ability to read, dysgraphia, which affects writing ability, and dyscalculia, which affects math calculation ability. Roadblocks or barriers are present for students with learning disabilities throughout their K-12 education. These students are often missing the support they need. Without appropriate support and services, students with learning disabilities are forced down a path that can dramatically impact their quality of life after they leave school. Things like deficit mindsets or focusing on what students can't do versus what they can do. Insufficient funding, such as the Gross Underfunding of Individuals with Disabilities Education Act and underprepared educators, function as barriers that perpetuate opportunity gaps for students with learning disabilities. If these barriers remain, we will continue to see the dire consequences of not adequately addressing learning disabled students' needs. So what do we do to get them on the right path? We must implement effective services and support for the 2.3 million students with learning disabilities currently served in our public schools. For students with learning disabilities to succeed, we need awareness and growth mindsets. We must stay well informed, be skilled consumers of research, dismantle stigmas, educate and advocate for those with learning disabilities. Sufficient funding. The Individuals with Disabilities Education Act, or IDEA, and other funding sources support services such as early intervention and special education for students with disabilities. Teacher preparation. Teachers of all grades and subjects have students with learning disabilities in their classrooms, and many are not trained in effective instructional strategies for these students. Universal screening. Early intervention is essential to the success of students receiving special education services, making early screening critical. Evidence-based interventions and data-based decisions. Monitoring student progress using multiple sources of information helps educators identify student needs, adjust instruction accordingly, and determine if additional services are needed. We must remove the roadblocks for students with learning disabilities so they can reach their full potential. If we know how to improve achievement for students with learning disabilities, why do they continue to experience opportunity gaps? As a nation, educators, and allies, we must build a better path for students with learning disabilities, allowing them to thrive and ensuring equitable education opportunities. Join us at ncld.org to learn more about learning disabilities and ways to support our students.